Destiny, which means there are new things to look at. So today while I was streaming, I went through and I looked at just about everything new that came out today. I stream right here on YouTube, so if you ever want to come check that out, please. I, I invite everybody to come check that out. Just hang out, have a good time. So I went over everything that came out today, whether it be the new exotic SMG, the I just reviewed quickly the battle pass, the upgrades for the EXO thing for the season, and I went over some of the Eververse stuff, which, you know, most of the time the Eververse stuff was really, really good. So with that, let's get right into this video. And a side note, again, my streaming audio quality is not as good as my recording audio quality yet, so please just bear with me until I get that figured out. So let's get started. We got swooping talons, dealing damage while airborne increases its weapons damage output, and it's soaring fang. Come on. Soaring Fang. Dealing damage while grounded charges anti-grav repulsors, and dealing damage while airborne extends the anti-grav repulsors. Definitely a airborne effective gun. Not my style, but it is fun to use so far. I'm probably not going to go too crazy with it, honestly. It's cool, but I don't think it's for me. I'll just use Funnel Web all season. Alright, let's look at these upgrades. And the weapons, too, actually. Upgrades. Gain the ability to focus individual high stat season of the Seraph armor pieces. Armor must be required to previously focus. Yep. When opening the lock Seraph chest and playlist heist battlegrounds, the chance of getting a new season of the Seraph gear is greatly increased compared to the chance of getting gear repeats. Gear. Okay, so this is like, um,. Um, this is like, just per loot protection, requires the progress more than a weapon. Okay, so this is just bonus stuff to make things easier, so this is the stuff we really want to focus on, okay. Gain the ability to focus individual Icolos weapons, gain the ability to focus individual Season of the Seraph weapons, including raids, dungeon, dares, and non-seasonal playlists, it has a chance to reward Seraphic Emerald Energy, that's cracked. Defeating Death Tongue Choristers in Playlist Heist Battlegrounds before they activate the Alarm will grant a Seraphic Umbral Energy at activation, Activity Completion. Okay. First Icolos or Season of the Seraph Weapon you focus each week will have an additional selectable perk. First Icolos or Season of the Seraph Weapon you focus will have a Deep Sight Resonance. Okay, so. They put it last. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. First time you open an unlock Seraph chest on playlist Heist Battleground each week. Deep Sight Resonance for that weapon. Okay. Extra frame bounties award Seraph key codes. First time each week you open a lock Seraph chest on the Heist Battlegrounds place, you receive an additional high stat piece of armor. Increase the maximum quantity of Seraph key codes carry from 2,000 to 4,000. Defeating combatants has a chance to award Seraph key codes. And lock Seraph chests and playlists and legend high spell graphics have a chance to drop an additional seasonal weapon with a guaranteed deep sight resonance that you do not have the pattern for. Okay, so these are actually pretty cool. I kinda like these. It's a lot of loot protection, or so it seems, and a lot of deep sight resonances. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm down with that. I like that. Okay, we got the Icolos hand cannon. Icolos Shotgun, the Icolos Sniper, and the Icolos SMG. And they all come with the origin trait. Breaking a shield's tar breaking a target shield partially reloads this weapon's magazine, so it basically has uh, Genesis built into that, which is really cool. Craftable Icolos SMG is going to be amazing. Fire and Forget, which is the Aggressive Frame Linear, which I think these are the three-round bursters, the Aggressive Frames, right? Oh, and it's Vice, so it comes with Vice Stinger. Ooh, this might be really good, but it comes with Ambush. Improve range handling and damage against the combatants during the opening moments of an engagement. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we have an aggressive frame linear fusion rifle, a lightweight frame arc bow, an aggressive burst stasis pulse rifle, arc trace rifle, a solar glaive, and a void LMG. Alright, pretty good, no complaints there, honestly, but I want these. These are what I really want. That's going to be pretty good. And then, let's look at... 
this. I haven't looked at this yet. Okay. Artifact mods. Unstop hand cannon. Overload scout rifle. Piercing bow. Anti-barrier pulse. Overload auto and SMG. Grenade launcher holster. Legacy ambush. Increases the duration and effectiveness of the ambush origin trait and the Bray inheritance origin trait. That's right. Deep stone stuff. Increases the airborne effectiveness of all equipped weapons. Okay, that sucks that it's a mod and they're just not going to change the way it works, but whatever. Bow dexterity. Mobile retrofit. Hand cannon targeting. Pulse rifle reloader. Energy diffusion substrate. Gain a small amount of resistance to all damage dealt to you by combatants. Additional copies of this mod will increase its effect. Okay. Really increase the duration and effectiveness of the Tex Balance Stock Origin Trait and the Vice Stinger Origin Trait. So does that mean the dungeon weapons are Tex Machina? Because that's cool. Resilient Retrofit. Unstoppable Grenade Launcher. Counter Charge. Become charged with light whenever you or a member of your entire team stuns a champion. That's pretty cool. Champions you stun take additional damage from teammates. That's pretty cool. Void and stasis grenades cause a disruption, delaying ability regeneration and lowering combatant damage output. That's pretty cool. Void stasis. Stasis arc against unstoppable champions. Okay. Uh, receive left damage from combatants that are closely wielding a glaive. Okay, not the sword this time. Weakened clear. So this is the breaching clear rework they're talking about. When using a grenade launcher, damaging a boss, damaging a champion, or breaking combatant shield reloads your stowed weapons and weakens the combatant. So it weakens, it's void weaken, which I think is the 15%, unless they max it all the way up to 30, which wouldn't make any sense. That's still pretty cool, though. I like that. Monochromatic Maestro. Dealing damage with elemental abilities grant increased damage to weapons of the same element for a short duration. Dealing damage with elemental weapons grant increased damage to abilities of the same element for a short duration. That's pretty good considering I always double down matching elements to subclasses. That's really cool. I like that. Solo operative. Well, you're the only member of your fire team. You deal increased damage to all combatants. Okay. So, solo everything, easy peasy basically. Okay, that's kind of cool. And Lucent Finisher, defeating a Lucent Hive, Light Bearer, or a Champion with your Finisher spawns heavy ammo for you and your allies. Okay, that's pretty cool. I'm really excited about this Monochromatic Maestro and basically any of the uh, abilities for Champions. That's really cool. We can clear, that's nice. It's a weakened effect now, so it probably maxes out at like 15 or 30%. Definitely somebody's going to test that pretty soon here. I bet somebody's probably already got it unlocked with the way people play this game. But I'm going to bet it's a 15% debuff to keep it in line with other debuffs in the game. That's pretty cool. What do we have for Grandmasters this season? That's right, the new Crucible Seal. What's this called? Oh, Seraph. That makes sense. Moment of triumph. Cool. I got to complete all that. I don't know. Pretty cool. Oh, my t-shirt. That's funny. Oh, that's a cool emblem. Okay, let me look at... Let me look at... Conqueror. What do we have? Insight Terminus, Scarlet Keep, Birthplace, Corrupted, Glassway, Warden of Nothing. Okay, so Terminus, that's going to be pretty easy. Scarlet Keep is also going to be fairly simple. Birthplace, I never had any problems with. Corrupted on the docket again, that's going to be interesting. Glassways, we had that last season, that's an easy one to get through. And Warden of Nothing, that's also going to be a nice one to get through. Okay. Alright, cool. Okay. So, we have the Arc Bundle. Alright, pretty
pretty cool. I'm not, I don't know. I don't, I feel like it should have more. The arc coming off of it's really cool. But the thing that I liked about the Void and Solar Armor is that it had, the Solar Legs had the Golden Gun, and the Void Cloak had the Bow. But this has just got lightning cracked all over it. It's, it's cool. Not for me. This, however, is what I was looking for. Oh, okay, so the Hunters get uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey with a Spartan look. That's honestly really cool. That's so cool. That's awesome. So far, that's really cool. That's, oh, that's so cool. Oh, I gotta go back. What do we have for exotic ornaments? Um, oh, Omni Oculus Mask? Oh, is that just a regular helmet? That goes with Omni? Oh, that's so cool! The eyes probably open up when you wear it. That's pretty cool. Go back. Is there any exotic uh, things? Let me see. Yes. So we have a Frosty's ornament, 8,000er, eh, it makes sense though, mountain climbing, pretty cool. And this is for Caliban's? Must be for Caliban's. I'm not a fan of that, I'm really not a fan, yeah, it's, no, Renewal Grasps, oh, so now that I know this for Renewal Grasps, that makes sense. That's actually cool when it looks, when you think about it like that. I thought it was for Caliban's. For Caliban's, that wouldn't make any sense. But Renewal Grass, that's actually not bad. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, kids are out of school. That makes it hard to do this. Hopefully you don't hear them. That's pretty cool. Trinity Ghoul ornament. A La Monarch ornament. That's cool. The Knight's Elegy, that's so cool. I like I like the aesthetics of these. That's cool. Oh, does that have a moving piece on it? Oh, it does, it has a clock! That's cool. Noble Burden. Poor DMT. R.I.P. Rest in peace. What is this for? Oh, Lorenz. Galler form. Oh, that's the nerf one, because it got nerfed this season. <laughs> Depression. That's cool. Yeah, that's funny. Gal Galahorn got nerfed, and it actually got its nerf. That's funny. Blooming Guilt. Oh, that's so good looking. Ooh, that's really good. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Bright Dust. Anything here for Bright Dust? Not really. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's Six Coyote one. I don't really, I don't really like Six Coyote. That's pretty cool, though. Alright, now let's actually look at the Battle Pass stuff. So we have... A shader, a level 6. Exotic Engram, some Bright Dust. Exotic Engram, a ship. That's the LMG, I assume? Yep. Um, a better manticore, another shader, a glaze, a ghost, a cipher, armor. Okay, okay. Oh, that helmet looks kind of cool. Oh, yeah, let's see what this looks like. Scorpion flight. I kind of like the sleek vice look over this big bulky whatever this is teach their own though I suppose pretty interesting Velis X aggressive burst void what is that a hockey pulse rifle as soon as it loads yes okay so it comes repulsor brace tricorn or tunnel vision kill clip? Okay. Okay, this thing might actually be not bad. Interesting. Okay, cool. Shader. Okay, so the standard arrangement for that stuff. Okay. 
All right. Pretty sure the Titans got the Valhalla set, which is gonna be cool. Okay. Yeah, they did the Wolf Kiss bundle. Yeah, that's for sure, Avor. But let's see. Yeah, again, same. Really cool, actually. I like the Titan art one more. Compared to the Hunter one. But this is what I really wanted to look at. Oh, it's so cool. The Valhalla set. Oh, man. That's so cool. Yeah, they did get AC Valhalla. Which means the Warlocks are the ones that got Ezio. Oh, what's this? Helm of the Falling Comet? Okay, so... The Titans just get everything that's Falling Star related. That helmet is ugly as sin, though. And then we got Mirren's Odyssey for Dune Marchers. Those are pretty That's pretty clean, actually. Oh, they're Black Armory themed. That's really cool. And then Abyss Inverted for Heart of Inmost Light. Ooh. Taken. That's really nice. And then the weapons. That's cool. So the Taken the Taken thing is really cool. And the the Wolf Kiss bundle is honestly even cooler. That's really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. As soon as it loads. Uh, oh, the Warlock stuff looks cool. It reminds me of Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. That's really cool. The Warlock one might be my favorite for the arc adornment, the arc stuff. That's really cool. And then, of course, this is clean. The Warlock's got Ezio. That's so good. The Warlock's huge W for their seasonal offering ornaments. That's so cool. Okay, what did they get for exotic? Oh, Storm Dancers. So that's probably for Storm Dancers Brace. Yep. Let me see what it looks like. I'm not a huge fan of Storm Dancers, but this helmet's kind of cool. I assume it's going to chain arc. Oh, those are eyeball slits. Oh, so it's going to chain arc when you wear it. That's pretty cool. And we have... I'm going to guess... That's for Seeking Filaments, and I'm going to get this as soon as it's available, because that's cool. I love Seeking Filaments, and this is just, this is just awesome. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. And this is probably for, oh, Osmiomancy? Ooh, that's also clean. Damn. They always do so good with their ornaments. They know where their money is made, and then weapon ornaments. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at that then. So I hope everybody enjoyed the stream, those who are still here, those watching in the future, etc. etc. And I'll see you guys later.